Hi, and welcome to the Simply Aroma New Consultant Training. I want to personally congratulate you on your decision to join Simply Aroma. My name is Julianne Jones, and I specialize in teaching direct sellers how to succeed. You're fortunate to have chosen to join a company who's invested in your education and wants to make sure that you're learning how to do your business the right way from the very beginning. I've partnered with Simply Aroma to help with that. Over the next 12 weeks, as you begin your success journey with Simply Aroma, I'm going to be teaching you step by step how to succeed with simple tools designed to help you do just that. You have many resources available to you as a new consultant, and I want to outline those as we get started. First of all, always make sure that you've read through your consultant manual and make sure you go back to it as often as you can as a resource. It's filled with some really terrific information and some tools that you're going to need to succeed in your first 90 days. Your sponsor is also a very important resource and support person for you, so be sure that you're connecting with her as often as possible. If you haven't yet visited the consultant area of the Simply Aroma website, make sure that you spend some time there as well. You're going to find bonus training and specific logistical support there, and the website is updated often, so you do want to make sure that you check in on a regular basis so you stay up to date with the latest news and training from your company. As you begin this new business venture, you're going to want to make sure that you've got some basic information under your belt so that you feel confident that you know how to do a party and the general steps to running your business. Over the course of the next four videos, I'm going to be sharing a very simple four-step system that will give you those tools for success. My recommendation is that you watch each video, take lots of notes, and make sure that you implement the calls to action at the end of each video. These homework assignments are designed to make sure that you're taking the action that you need to take to succeed. Once you've completed the homework from one video, you can move on to the next. And it's our goal that you work through all four videos within the first week of becoming a consultant. It's also important that you get through all four videos, if at all possible, before you step in front of your first group of guests to do your launch party. So make sure that you plan your time accordingly. Also, you can watch the training videos as often as you want. Now let's dive in. First, I want to encourage you to create a business calendar. You're going to want to incorporate your new business calendar into your current calendar system if you already have one. And if you don't, you definitely want to create one, either a paper calendar or an electronic one, such as iCal, Outlook, or Google Calendar. The first thing that we're going to put on this calendar is the date for your launch party. And I'm going to be giving you some specific tips for a successful launch party in a few moments. Next, I'd like to invite you to choose a two-week period of time that we'll call your launch period. This is the two weeks that you choose when you'll actually be booking all of your initial parties, quite literally launching your business. Now my goal is to teach you how to get all of these parties booked during your own launch party. Let me explain how this two-week launch works and why it's so crucial to your success as a new Simply Aroma consultant. Not only will you walk out of this two-week launch period with bookings on your calendar and real income in your bank account, but you're also going to be setting yourself up to earn up to $345 in credits over the course of the next 90 days through Simply Aroma's Fast Start program that you can use to buy products which you can then sell back to your customers. You could literally set yourself up for the next 90 days of bookings and sales with an effective two-week launch. Now if you spread the first four to six parties out over several weeks, these results are going to be much harder to come by and it's also going to make it a lot more difficult for you to learn your presentation. See, the closer together your first parties are, the sooner you're going to feel comfortable with what you're doing, what you're saying, and how to do your presentation. Now, I just want to say one last thing about the two-week launch. I realize that four to six parties within a two-week period of time will be a commitment on your part. 
it's going to require some sacrifice and you might have to arrange for a, a sitter for your children or you might have to rearrange some other pre-existing evening commitments. Just remember, it's only for two weeks and it's necessary in order for you to be able to do your presentation several times in a short period of time so you get comfortable with that. Consider this your orientation training. It's just like with any job you, you do. You have to learn how to do it and this is the very best way to do that. Once this two week launch is over, you can decide how often you want to work and how many parties you want to do every week based on how much income you'd like to be consistently earning and how quickly you want to grow your business. So now that you've got your launch party scheduled and you've also identified your two week launch and chosen at least four to six evenings during that two week period of time during which you'll hold those parties, let's end this video by talking about how to have a successful launch party. Now ideally, the person who sponsored you is going to be doing your launch party for you. If that's the case, she'll act as the consultant for your party and you'll be the host. You'll get all the bookings from your launch party as well as the host credit. Your sponsor is going to help you as you place your host order to make sure that you're ordering items that you can then turn around and sell back to your customers or add to your kit to make your parties more successful. You're going to want to pay close attention to the things that your sponsor does before, during, and after the party. This is sort of on the job training for you, so pay special attention to how she gets bookings during the party and also take lots of notes so that you'll have them as a reference as you're getting prepared for your first solo party. Now, if it's not possible for your sponsor to do your launch party for you, you're going to have to host and conduct it yourself. That does require more preparation on your part, but I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step system for a successful launch party. Your business begins with your launch party. This is really a chance for you to officially launch your business to your friends and your family by throwing a huge party for yourself. Your goal during your launch party is to get as many bookings as possible so that you have a strong lineup of four to six parties on your books before you start your business. You're also going to receive the host credit for this party if you throw it for yourself. So again, you'll be able to use it to add products to your kit or your stock. So here are the basic steps to a successful kickoff party. Choose a fun theme for your party for maximum impact. Now themes get people's attention. So creating a Mexican fiesta or a chocoholic extravaganza theme is going to increase attendance at your party. Make sure that you reference the theme on any invitations that you send. In fact, you can even create a fun invitation that has simple clip art that references your theme and you can print it out on an eight and a half by 11 piece of colored paper. You're also going to want to decide what type of party to throw. Simply Aroma recommends four different types of parties and these are all outlined in detail in your consultant manual. The first is the traditional home party and that's really where you're doing a fairly formal presentation for your host and all of her guests at once. An open house party is a little bit different because the host invites people to show up over the course of a few hours and the guests are really encouraged just to browse and mingle. In that case, you won't be doing an actual formal presentation, but actually talking informally about the products and about your opportunity with the guests as you mingle throughout the evening. Basket parties are the third type and they're really a, just a simple way for somebody who's maybe too busy to host a party to have one and you can simply give that post host a basket full of products with samples and then encourage her to collect orders. Now I don't recommend this type of party for your launch party because your goal isn't just sales. Remember it's getting bookings. Finally, one of the most popular types of parties with your company's products is what Simply Aroma calls a make something party. This is a really fun craft time as you and your host and your guests make luxury bath essentials, household clean cleansers, um, personal oil blends, things like that. These parties are honestly the best choice in my opinion because they get your guests involved and having fun from the very beginning of the evening, which makes for a successful party for you. 
So you wanna make sure that you fill out your guest list of at least 50 people. Now there are several tools for you to use to do this. And again, they can be downloaded from the Simply Aroma website. And these include a uh, hostess tic-tac-toe, a hostess scavenger hunt, um, the invite Frank 30 guest fact sheet. Really just choose the one that you like the best or you could try all three and see which one works best for you. Now as you fill out your guest list, be thinking about a friend on that list with whom you would love to build your business. Can you imagine how much fun it would be to learn and, and become successful right alongside someone else, especially a friend? This is a really great place to begin your sponsoring journey and your own sponsor can actually train both you and your brand new team member at the same time. So you wanna call all of your guests two days prior to the party and remember to promote that theme when you call them. Also be prepared for the following answers. If someone says, yes, they're coming, great. Make sure that, that you follow up with a question like, super, who's your most fun friend? Could you bring them along? If the answer is no, that they can't make it, consider asking them to get together with you. You can let them know that you'd love to give them a catalog or even better to meet with them in person and show them your products. Now, this is where that basket party kind of comes into play for you. Because if you're meeting with people one-on-one, -on -one, um, and especially if you're meeting in a public place and you have a basket full of essential oil bottles sitting on the table, you could very likely attract passers-by or, or even your waitress who's going to ask you what you're doing or inquire about what's in that basket. I know this happened to me all the time when I was working my direct sales business because people are just naturally curious. So this is a great idea when you're meeting anyone, including meeting your hosts for host coaching if it's in a public place. So at the party, make sure that you connect with your guests as they arrive. Now you wanna make it about them with that connection, not your product. So ask about their lives, their kids. In essence, this is about asking them questions about something that's important to them and then truly listening when they answer. Remember, the idea of the party is to create a fun, relaxing environment so that your guests will want to book a party of their own and repeat that experience with their, in their own homes, with their own friends. This should really be pretty easy for you during this launch party because the people there are your own friends and family already. So you're probably a lot more comfortable with them to begin with. Now at the end of the party, sit down with your new hosts, those people who booked that night, and get them set up for their parties. You wanna give them a host packet and make sure that they choose a date for their party set up their coaching appointment, ideally within the next seven to 10 days if you can, and give them instructions for filling out their guest list. You're gonna find a lot more tips on host coaching in the how to prepare your host section of your consultant manual, so make sure you look that over. And I'm also gonna be covering this in detail in a later video. Your goal is to have four to six hosts um, ready to provide you with guest list and postage and to have their host coaching appointment set up before they leave your launch party that evening. Make sure you secure the date with them before they leave. Now, if they aren't sure or they need to check their calendar, use this language to secure a date before they leave. No problem, Sue. Tell you what though, I want to go ahead and get you scheduled so that you're on my calendar and that I've got you as one of my hosts for next month. So let's go ahead and get you on my calendar. And if you do get home and you find that date just won't work for you, all you have to do is give me a call and I'll be happy to change that date. I'm super flexible. See, that way she has to call you to change the date instead of you chasing her down to actually book the date. It's a much stronger commitment on her part. So that's all the information that I have for you for video number one. There's a lot here and I recommend that you watch this video at least one more time prior to actually hosting your launch party. And remember, these first four videos are just an overview of the more detailed information that I am gonna be giving you through the course of the next 90 days. I'm teaching you just what you need to know to get started in this first week because I don't wanna overwhelm you and honestly, you can't learn it all at once anyway. So just be patient with yourself and know that I am gonna be filling in all of the details as we go forward together in future videos. So here's your homework for this video. First, set up your calendar and book your launch party. Second, choose your two week launch period and create a party date card for each one of those dates. And you'll find those cards on the website. 
And third, make your list of 50 and get your invitations sent for your party. On the next video, we're going to be talking about how to get the booking, sales, and sponsoring results that you need from your parties. Make sure you complete the action steps from this video before you go on to video number two. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.